I recently went out and I purchased a whole lot of whiteboard for my garage because I wanted to, I wanted to have a wall over there that I could lay out my thoughts. I'm trying to wire a car because I can barely wire a car to begin with and then let alone try to keep it all straight. So I bought a ton of whiteboard, not from a large box store that requires <clears throat> a mask. I drove an extra 15 miles, but anyhow, I bought all this whiteboard and an extra piece. I thought, let's put it by the desk in case I get some weird thoughts late at night. And here we are late at night with some weird thoughts. And I'm gonna call it Whiteboard Wednesday. Don't worry, I'm not gonna replace the other shitty videos with these shitty videos. They're just an addition, like once a week, just a little five minute video, you know, watch on your lunch break or something. A lot of times when I race and some shit goes down at the starting line, you start hearing terms getting thrown around. You burned me down. You burned him down, Billy. You burned him. You burned him down. You got the burn down. And then you got, he double balled me. He double balled me. I, I don't know. I don't know why he double balled me. Let's, let's break down the terms real quick. You got, you got double bulb. I'm just going to draw it like this. Double bulb. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm an adult. I'm not. Double bulb. Double bulb. You got your... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is the top of your Christmas tree. You're coming out of your burnout box, right? You're... And you look up. An old Jimmy over here. Jimmy's got four lit. He's ready to rip. You haven't even clicked the shifter back into first yet. And you're like, what the? What are you doing? That's when people start screaming about a double bulb. Why would someone double bulb? I don't know. I honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard guys make the claim. Yeah, he's a little faster than me. I'm going to get in his head, though. I'm going to hit him with the double bulb. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're gonna hustle your program, probably make a mistake in the process, so you can rip up here and light four bulbs, and now you're stuck there. Like that game when you're kidding, you had to stand in the corner. That's you, you're stuck, you're sitting there. So now, if you got a half decent racer in the other lane, he's not flustered, he's laughing. Because at this point, he's gonna look down, he's gonna snap her back in first or neutral, and maybe just wabba, wabba, wabba. He's a Hey, hey, Tim. Tim's like, <laughs> what's he want? Opens the door. What's going on? I don't know. I just thought we should kill a little time. Little Jimmy there hit her with the double bulb. Uh, right on, man. So what are you doing later? You going with the wife? Or what do you, how do you want to spend this money at the end of the day? I don't know. I was kind of thinking about hitting the IHOP on the way home. Five minutes goes by. People are like, what's he doing? He's putting the ball back in his court. The hypothetical ball. This is a basketball. It's, it's back in his court. You thought you were gonna throw him, and he is now taking control. You've handed him the keys to the city with your double bulb approach. So next time you hear someone screaming angrily about a double bulb, I don't know what they're upset about. If you look up and see a double bulb, specifically in competition, if, if somebody double bulbs you in a, in a test pass, probably an accident, might be the dude's first time, come some slack, just go up there on stage. If that happens all first round though, and you know the guy, Probably intentional, poorly thought out, terrible game plan. But teach his own. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. That's the double bulb. My second term, and this is my favorite term, the burn down. It's one of my favorites. You might hear it. People yelling, crew yelling. Usually it's the crew yelling. Sometimes the driver. Burn down, burn down. He burned him down. He burned me down. Ah, oh, let's get him. Find him. The whole crew's just, ah, oh, burn down. We're going to get that guy. Whatever. So here's here's how it works. Um, so back in the day, let's, re let's reset the tree here. Okay, so back in the day, it went bing, 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 bing. And there's a starter. This is the starter. We'll draw a little starter. He's got he's got the box. It's got a switch on. It's got a cord. And he, sometimes he has a stool he sits on. That's a stool. And hmm, Christmas tree over here. So this guy, we'll call him Bubba. Bubba used to start the tree after all four were lit. He's sitting there on a stool watching. He goes in, he goes in. Bubba goes right on. Here comes the tree. So around like 2005, NHRA decided, hey, eh, you know, Bubba could have a little favoritism. Maybe Bubba just likes to let the cars hang for a minute. A lot of variables. Let's give the power to the Christmas tree. So that's where auto start comes around. There's a lot of factors auto start. There's like stage time, this and that, whatever. Let's just focus on the important part. The important part is that 
once you go in and Jimmy goes in and then Jimmy goes in again, auto start has begun. You have seven seconds to light these. Now this could change. There's way back in the day when it first came out, it was like 15 seconds on a sportsman tree and it was like 10 seconds on a pro tree and then they tightened it up. Long story short, it's been through some changes. Most trees now. Now the guy in the tower living way up above that nobody sees, but he can see everybody's times. That guy, he can change the auto start. So the threshold could be five seconds, it could be six seconds, blah, blah, blah. The point is, if you're really concerned about this scenario occurring in the driver's meeting, ask them, is auto start on? How long is it set for? They'll probably tell you, it's seven seconds. Okay, so here we are. We're in round one. You find yourself in this scenario, but you're over here. This is you. You're staged. Grab the brake. Wop, 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 He's not coming. He's not going. I don't know. A lot of things could happen. I've done this to someone, not intentionally. And I'm not making this video to condone like that I think these things are okay. Rather, like in my scenario, I had, I just put my car together and the bump box was moving the car, no shit, an eighth of an inch at a time. So I'm over there. I'm holding it. I'm giving, I'm like, come on. I got in at like 6.9 seconds. I felt terrible. The dude was absolutely livid and I completely understood because it was in qualifying. So there's not even a reason to like try to burn someone down, but it happens. There's a lot of reasons for it. Or somebody's like, I'm gonna burn them down. Okay. So if you wanna roll the dice, that's up to you. So long story short, you have seven seconds to light your bulbs. At the end of the day, fair is fair. If it's in the rules and they set all starts on at seven seconds, Jimmy gets seven seconds. I get it, you might be upset because your transmission's like 482 degrees because you sat there for the full seven instead of the usual three seconds you're on the brake if you're, you know, maybe like to be the first guy in, whatever. Don't get mad about it. The only advantage here is maybe that Jimmy knows a little bit better when the tree's gonna drop than you do, okay? But if you can keep your mush together and just stay honed in on them bulbs and let go of the button when they come on, you'll probably be fine. So that's the burn down. The burn down is when you see this scenario. And it goes on for like 6.99999 seconds. Everybody starts yelling burn down. I think it's kind of a risky move. What if you can't count? What if you're like me? You can't count that well. Next thing you know, you're like, oh shit, I'm at eight. Oh God, the light's on. Because if you don't hit her by seven seconds, here comes the red light tree drops. So there you have it. You got, you got double bulb and you got burn down. Burn down should always be written in big capital letters because people are really upset about it. Burn down! Exclamation. So now when you're standing there, spectating or watching or whatever, and you hear those terms, now you know. I don't condone it either way. I don't think you should do it. I don't think you shouldn't do it. I think if it's in the rules, it's in the rules and fair is fair. If you like the video, cool. Let me know if you want to hear about some other random thoughts I have. If you don't like the video, shit out of luck, so I'm probably going to keep making them.